Hey, what up guys? My name is HB and today I'm here to show you how to create the plug sound from the ping pong track by Armin Van Buren. So let's go. Okay, so actually this is a very easy and simple sound to make. Uh, basically what it is, is just a sine wave, uh, the random phase all the way down, one voice, uh, and the level is all the way down. And I just applied an LFO envelope to it. Uh, as you can see, 1 16th envelope mode. Just click and drag. I have this on 75. And if I disable oscillator B for a second, um, let me also bypass this for a second. And this is how it sounds so far. As you can hear, just a simple sine wave. Uh, now where things get interesting, if we go uh, to LFO 2, we have another uh, uh, envelope LFO. Uh, set the uh, the rate to this and try to copy the same shape. Now I have it applied to two elements here. Uh, one of them is oscillator B, the uh, the level, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's go here to the matrix tab, and the main thing that we're gonna apply that's gonna shape the sound uh, and gonna make it sound the way it sounds is to the master attunement. You just click here, go to global master attunement. Uh, make sure that this is set to uh, one directional instead of like, like so. And then I put this at 24. And if I unbypass this, this is how it sounds with. Now, actually here, uh, the reason I have it set to uh, 24. Now, this is a, 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 this is a thing within Serum. Uh, 24 doesn't really stand for 24 uh, semitones. Uh, and actually, if you want to set it to 24 semitones, you need to uh, type in 24 and then ST, and then it will put it at 24 semitones, which is 19. So uh, I just set it to 24 because it sounded good. Uh, you can mess around with it, the more, you know, if you bring the value higher, the more clicky and plasticky it's going to sound, basically because it, it gives it more higher frequencies, so that's why it will give it more of a, a, of a click a, at the start. And then if you bring the value down, the less clicky slash plasticky it's going to sound. But yeah, I set it to 24, I think it's a, it's a good number, but you can set it to whatever you like. Let's just go and... Uh, enable oscillator B, just drag, click and drag on uh, uh, on the level right here. I'm just gonna unbypass this. I have it set to 75. And the reason why I added a saw wave to oscillator B and I have the, uh, I have LFO2 modulate the level and not LFO1 is because I just want that attack, the initial attack of the saw wave. Since the saw wave has more higher frequencies than a sine wave, uh, it's going to give us a lot more of attack to the sound. Um, so that's the reason why I added oscillator B, saw wave, as you can see. And this is how it sounds so far. Now to beef up the sound and also make it more cohesive and more uh, glued together, I have the compressor on and I have it on the uh, OTT mode, the multiband, just click, uh, just click here and you'll activate it. Uh, the only thing that I messed with, this is pretty much the, uh, the default setting. I just bump up the gain a little bit to uh, uh, 14. And what I did, because it introduced a lot of uh, low frequencies to the sound, I just dragged this down, the, uh, the low band, just dragged it down to 60%. And this is how it sounds overall. This is basically the, the final sound. And that's it, guys. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the uh, comments below. And just a reminder, as usual, you can always uh, download those presets. The link is in the description below. And if you would like to uh, ask further questions, you can always join my live streams on Twitch. I stream under the username VHB. That's T-H-E-E -E underscore H-B. So please come on by. Feel free to ask questions. I'm always down to help. And I guess I will see you guys next time.